dude, you know I'm excited when it's a double-handed wave. <laughs> Hi friends, I'm back with the last official installment of my 2017 holiday gift guide. Today talking about my top picks for stocking stuffers, $25 and under, and size to fit in a average size stocking, I would say. Now I say this is my last official installment because I do have ideas for a toddler specific gift guide that I'd love to share. It's just based on if I have time to pull that together. Um, that would come a little bit later in the month. Um, so there might be another one, but this is, you know, my, my usual three part holiday gift guide where I started with little luxuries. That's um, 25 to $50 category. Um, and then extravagant splurges, $50 and up, and then today, stocking stuffers, $25 and less. Um, so I have broken this up into gifts for her and gifts for him, but of course, any of these things can be for anybody. Um, you know, some of them are a little bit more gender neutral than others, especially, I feel like, in the, kind um, of for men category, but really, whatever works, works, you know what I mean? Um, and like I said, they're $25 and left, less I'm going to share them in order of price going in you know incrementally higher in price and I'm going to start with my gifts for her. I have 10 for her, 10 for him, and then a couple of treats because I don't think any stocking is complete without a treat or two even for adults especially I would say for adults. <laughs> um, so starting off I discovered this brand over this past year uh, this company, and it's the Pacha, I believe that's how you pronounce it, soap company. They sell their products at my local Whole Foods, which is where I do our general weekly food shop. Um, so I happened to see them um, probably earlier, like last winter, last January or February, and I bought a couple of their, what they call froth bombs, which are basically bath bombs, and I instantly fell in love. They are my absolute favorite. I like them more than Lush. Just going to put it out there, you know, it's personal preference kind of thing, but it's a really nice company. If you go to their website, you can read more about sort of their mission and sort of their whole philosophy. They're handcrafted with sustainably and ethically sourced ingredients, um, and they also give soap, clean water, and livelihoods worldwide. So it's a really kind of a nice giving back, you know, buy something for you, and it gives back a little to somebody else. Well, I noticed in my Whole Foods just the other day that they have come out with a holiday line online on their website they have not released the holiday line but if you can find a store that sells them they probably have the holiday line out and they are so cute and amazing so i bought three i think they had a couple more but i bought the three that kind of appealed to me um so there's the holly and berries which is in a little um stocking <laughs> shape now these are kind of standard high quality bath bomb prices. They range around six to seven dollars. I think these ended up being about six fifty each. I pay for them by weight at my Whole Foods, so I'm not sure how they, they would cost if you bought them individually somewhere else. Um, but they've got really good ingredients. They don't mess up your tub and they just leave your skin feeling really nice and moisturized. Oh, and these scents are perfect for the holidays. Um, then there's winter birch Oh, this one's a little bit minty. Sorry, I'm like really excited about these. And then the gingerbread is probably my favorite. Oh, it's got a really nice gingerbread spice scent to it. And I think bath bombs are really nice to put in a stocking for a man or a woman or a child, actually. Kids love bath bombs. Um, and they go really nicely at the toe of the stocking because they're a little heavier, you know, and they kind of fill out the toe. So there's that. Um, so in the 6 to $7 price range, I would say. Another company that I became... <laughs> enthralled with this past year is Pen Gems. And I will put in close-ups of all these products that I can, you guys, because I know like you're like, what am I looking at? Um, these are beautiful pens. They're called the pen with the gem on top. Uh, and I actually got one of these as a gift when I went to Go Wild, which is a planner conference back in May. Um, the table I was sitting at had a uh, pen gem for everybody. 
pen gem pen. These range in price from $9 to $10 depending on what you buy. I just bought a couple to show you. Um, they have crystals in the non-ink part of the pen so they're really beautiful and then a crystal gem on top and they're just a really nice kind of fine pen um, but are, that's not terribly expensive and when you order a pen it comes with a replacement ink, a 0.7 millimeter black ink um, but you can also fit a variety of different inks in there if you go to their website which of course I'll have linked below um, it tells you what kind of inks you can fit in there so if you want to do a different kind of ink than what comes standard in the pen you can. The, the pens come loaded with ink already they just give you an extra one which I think is really nice um, and I use one a lot I use the one I got in May a lot and I love it and just think it's like a really nice pen you know a fun gift for somebody I mean, everybody uses a pen right but this is a really beautiful pen and beautiful also to pair with a variety of other gifts to make kind of a bigger small gift if you will one of which uh, is my next pick and it's these pocket notebooks from Rip Rifle Paper Company I love Rif Rifle Paper Company I think they make beautiful classy products with just the most beautiful designs. You'll notice I have talked about rifle paper in a couple of my other gift guides and there's another product in this gift guide that you'll see later. Um, these are really nice. Ten dollars you get two notebooks. They're blank in the inside. These are really nice tiny little size. You want to pair these with the pen still under 20 bucks or you want to split it up and do one pen and one notebook per friend or something then it's even less expensive still a really beautiful thoughtful gift you can wrap it really thoughtfully um i think it's just a nice thing and have a little notebook people still write stuff down do you know what i mean they do <laughs> they do this i saw the container store and i wanted to go ahead and say actually before i get any further into this video my favorite places to shop for stocking stuffers that I go to year after year. The Container Store, Paper Source, Nordstrom, and um, one more, Sephora for beauty stuff. Those are kind of my go-to places that I always look for stocking stuffers and they generally have a category on their website that they put up very early in the fall for stocking stuffers so you can start looking at that way in advance. Anyway, on the Container Store, stores stocking stuff for a site this year I saw these and I hadn't noticed these before and I just thought these were so cool these are by I don't know what the company is is a goop or coop I'm not sure but they're foldable glass glasses case now I'm going to show you in the close-up how they fold and unfold first of all 10 bucks 9.99 really cool it comes in two colors at least at the container store this kind of um tealy robin egg kind of color and then a gray and these are perfect for somebody like me who wears your I wear my sunglasses all the time. I don't often take them off, so I don't keep a case in my bag for them. But every once in a while, I wish I had a case, especially when we're traveling and I know they're getting smushed in my backpack. But I don't want a big bulky case. It's gonna take up a lot of room, but I want something protective when I actually do put them in a case. This is great because it folds up, you know, really small, but then it folds out into a really sturdy, triangular shaped case. Um, so I think this is brilliant. Um, and definitely could be, you know, a gender neutral kind of gift. I mean, any of this stuff really is um, when you want to, if you want to get technical. Uh, but I thought that was really fun. I think a mug is a nice thing to put in a stocking, um, especially for hot drink lovers. I bought this one with a friend in mine, actually, and I saw this at Nordstrom. I thought it was a really nice um, initial mug for $14. You can get initial mugs at a variety of places. I know Anthropology has beautiful ones. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, you can get them other places as well. I thought this was nice, kind of nice because it's a really big, nice mug. It's got a nice handle, a nice feel to it. Um, $14, like I said, and you can pick the letter, obviously, and it says cup of happy in the middle. Um, and I think if you want to pop a little tea or hot chocolate in there, and I'm actually going to talk about a little hot chocolate favorite uh, of mine, kind of top pick uh, stocking stuffer thing in a little bit, um, I think that would even kind of plump up the gift even more if you want to do it as like a standalone gift, be a nice teacher gift, or like, you know, little just a smaller gift, but it's still very thoughtful. Anything personalized kind of has an extra thoughtful gift, doesn't it? A uh, touch to it, I should say. A hat! Everybody use, can use a hat, and well, maybe not everybody. If you live in like Arizona, you probably don't need a hat. Although, I don't know. I don't live in Arizona. Maybe you do. I saw this at Nordstrom. It's $15. It's from the BP department. 
It's super soft. It's just like an acrylic blend, but it's one of those really fuzzy ones. It's not itchy. I love the little faux fur palm at the top. I'm not a hat person. I'm going to put this on because I love you guys, but I'm not really, I don't really do well in hats. Like I don't think I look cute. Well, that's not bad. It's really comfortable and I like that it's a little bit bigger so you can get and kind of get that slouchy feel to it or if you have like a, I have a really small head you guys so just keep that in mind but if you have like a bigger head then it, it would fit a variety of heads uh, sizes I would say and shapes um, but it uh, comes in a variety of colors and a really nice option for $15 and a great thing to have kind of like poking out the top of a, a stocking for a teenager or or even you know Anybody, really, I would have it in my stocking. Yes, please, thank you, I'll take it. Calendars are a really nice gift to give at this time of year, but you really have to know somebody well to give them a very expensive calendar, like a very specific kind of planner or whatever. I mean, if you're gonna spend a lot of money, you gotta really know what that person wants because calendars are very personal and specific. Well, if you wanna just give something that really is fun and maybe for anybody, I have a couple of options. First of all is this monthly notebook planner from Ashley Shelley. I met Ashley at that um, planner conference, that Go Wild conference I was talking about um, back in May, and she's just a really, really nice gal and a very, um, enthusiastic small business owner and I did a whole review on her 2018 range I will put a link to that above if you want to see it I love her products I thought this was a like I as soon as I saw this I was like stocking stuffer alert stocking stuffer alert um, these are great they're $18 they're beautiful soft cover monthly planners um, and stocking sized and easy to carry around, especially for somebody who maybe just wants to start out with planning, doesn't really know what they want, um, or just wants something very small and kind of easy to manage. This is a great option. So you got your monthly calendar, comes in dot grid or lined. So it comes with a whole year with the, uh, you know, a two page notes spread in between in either dot grid or line you choose when you order and she comes in a variety of different covers there's also a black and white stripe and i think one more uh one or two more so that's a really nice option for 18 dollars um 18.95 so about 19 dollars is this desk calendar from rifle paper company so it's one of those that you just prop open and it's easel style and then you just flip over the pages um, for each month and it has one of the beautiful stunning rifle paper board, uh, company prints for each month and it's just oh, it's just beautiful and this comes encased in plastic I took it out for the sake of the video so does that other the rifle the other rifle paper co, uh, co notebooks that I showed I took them out of the plastic for the video but um, really nice option I think for anybody's desk or look really beautiful in a kitchen um, for sure. And of course I like to include a couple of beauty items. It's a little bit tough I think if you're picking out nail polish colors or lip colors I think those little mini sets can be great. They tend to run a little bit more than $25 I've been noticing so I didn't buy any of those this year um, to share with you. Um, but I picked a couple of different things that I think are nice choices that would be great for a variety of personalities and kind of like beauty needs or desires <laughs> if you will um first one from nordstrom and this is by lilicious and it's their what do they call this the brown sugar vanilla mini sparkle and shine set that's a mouthful 19 dollars. you get two two ounce tubs one has the brown sugar vanilla hydrating butter butter in it and one has the extraordinary whipped sugar scrub and it even has the little things so if you want to like hang this on a tree you could although it's rather heavy i'm not sure i would hang it on of my tree but it is very sweet how it's packaged you could just pop this right into a stocking I think it's really beautiful and it's a really nice warm vanilla scent so pretty you know basic scent and then lastly the bite beauty agave kisses set from Sephora and this is $20 and what I like about this is I love bite beauty products they're a little bit pricey um, this is a beautiful little set. Comes in this tin. I actually did a close up, although it was really hard to hold uh, <laughs> for you guys to try not to drop the products. But it's just like the right amount of thing to like try all of these products and give yourself a really nice lip treatment. This will last you a long time. This will. Um, even the teeny tiny lip balm. That's gonna last you a while. If you use lip products, you know they they tend to last a while. Um, so I thought that was a really nice kind of pampering. 
beauty option, both of them pampering beauty options that aren't, you know, like color specific or, you know, and, and so, something like that, I would say. So those are my 10 picks for, for gals. Now to go on to the guys, although like I said, everything's kind of interchangeable for the most part, especially in this category. <laughs> I feel like I included a table tennis set some other year, but I just saw this and I thought for $6, it's $5.95 at Paper Source. This was just a really fun thing. And it's the world's smallest table tennis set. Compact, easy setup, very playable. I, I don't know what it is about table tennis, but I feel like every office my husband has ever worked in has had a ping pong table. And like a lot of the social aspect of work revolves around the ping pong table. So I think this is kind of a fun thing. Of course it could be for a kid too. I just, I don't know how well it works. It comes with suction cups. Like I haven't tried this myself. You guys, I just thought it was cute. And for $6, it's kind of a, a, a cute novelty gift. Um, now if we get into some more kind of more useful items. I have become a well-kept wipes fan this past year. I learned about them through Erin Condren, um, who, you know, you guys know I love Erin Condren products, um, but they also sell them other places. I saw them at Paper Source too. I found this design packaging at Paper Source for $5.95. Uh, these are available at Erin Condren in a couple of different Erin Condren specific patterns for $6, although right now they're on sale for $4.50. And I don't know if they're going to be on sale for that for a long time or if they're clearing them out or what, but I'm planning on stocking up on a lot of those because that's a good price for these. I love these wipes. These are my favorite sunglass and tech cleaning wipes. They're alcohol-based wipes. They're very effective. Um, they really clean every last smudge and anything off of your screens and your glass lenses. And they dry super fast and super clean, like streak-free. I, I think they're great. And they're a really nice thing to pop into a stocking, you know, for anybody, really. Because everybody has a phone at least these days. Um, so a really nice option. Actually, a lot of the gifts I'm gonna be talking about in this category are kind of tech related. Um, I saw this at the container store and I thought it was really neat for somebody who travels a lot or maybe has a specific outlet situation in their home or at their office where their phone ends up being on the floor or something like that. I thought this was really cool. This is the Bobino Folding Phone Holder. $7.99 the container store. Basically, I'm gonna pop the little packaging off. You hang this part, so you plug in your charger, you hang this part over the charger, and then you just place your phone right there. And it keeps it off the floor. I think it comes in a couple of colors. I just think this is kind of a useful thing, especially for somebody who travels frequently. Um, just a useful little thing to pop in. The stocking, or you can combine it with a couple of other gifts to make sort of like a travel tech whatever have you, um, kind of bundle gift, if you will. I've talked about Toddy Gear for a long time, keeping kind of with the tech theme and the cleaning your tech devices. Um, I love, love, love their uh, clean, cleansing uh, microfiber cloths. I don't know, I can't remember exactly what they're called off the top of my head. They've been in my gift guides before, so I try not to repeat exact products when possible. Um, but I would highly recommend those still. I, of course, we'll have their website linked below if you want to check them out. They make a foldable one that's great, a uh, small size that folds into itself. Um, great to pop in a purse or a briefcase or a backpack. Um, they have bigger ones. They have like a wedge that you can pop your phone up on. They have great products. Well, they've come out with something new. I like how many ways can you make a screen cleaner? Apparently there's more. They have a stress ball screen cleaner. So I think these are, yep, these are $9.99, and they come in a variety of patterns and colors. So this one is kind of more, you know, gray neutral, and then there's a really flowery blue one with pink flowers on it. Um, so just to show you a couple of the different patterns. So it's a stress ball. You can keep it on your desk. I'm definitely going to pop one of these in my husband's stocking because work has been a little bit stressful lately. But then part of it is the microfiber cleaning part, and the other part is the, I can't remember what this material is, but it's kind of the buffer. Um, so you can clean your screen and get some stress relief at the same time. I just thought this was so neat. Again, another nice thing that would fit at the toe of the stocking. 10 bucks. Another $10 thing, and something that's a personal favorite of mine. This is a wood charging station. You're looking at this, you're like, what? I'm gonna pop in a picture, actually, of what this looks like on my nightstand when my watch and my phone are resting in it, because this is how 
I charge my devices overnight. It has a cutout where you can put in your um, Apple Watch charger. It fits perfectly and then the cord comes out the back and then you can also pop in um, you know, like a lightning charger for your iPhone or whatever. And your phone props in right there and it just looks nice and keeps it organized. It's $10, it's such a simple thing, but it really, it's just a nice way to charge. Um, and it keeps your stuff kind of organized and, and keeps your cables organized too. So I really like that for $10. It's one of my favorite things that I use personally. Another, I have a lot of tech stuff, I guess, in this category. It just kind of turned out that way. A keyboard cover for your MacBook. Keyboards. I'm sure you can get keyboard covers for other laptops too. I have a MacBook. I use a keyboard cover on it because I noticed with, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with previous computer, with previous laptops, I would just wear down the keys really fast. And since I've been using a keyboard projector on my latest laptop which I've had for I think over a year now. Um, it just keeps them nicer longer and then it increases their resale value if you you know like to sell your computers when you upgrade. I thought this one was really cool. It's marble. So it's definitely kind of you know for him or her. Uh, $12 found it at Nordstrom. Look how like perfectly stocking size that is. That could just slide right into the back of the stocking. You can fill a lot of things in in front of it too. Um, but just a nice a nice thing to have. And then this is the last tech related item, I promise. This is the mini gridit gadget case. What do you carry? It says, I found this at the container store. Uh, this is meant to organize your cables and devices for travel. Now they come much bigger than this is too. This one's $19.99. This was the stocking sized one. Um, and basically there's this board in it, a really sturdy board. Um, and it has um, all of these different elastic, rubberized elastic bands on it. So you can slide in a variety of chargers, even a phone uh, or a small tablet. And it keeps it all on this case and protected in this other case, which has lined in this like minky fabric and is heavily padded. But it's still pretty, um, you know, compact and would be great for somebody who travels a lot, especially, I think. Um, and then it zips up um, for, um, what do I wanna say? Uh, just to keep everything together. I think it's kind of a neat concept and might really work for somebody who travels a lot, so. There's that for 20 bucks. Another $20 option, I found at Paper Source, and this is the Kirkland Compact Backpack. So basically, this is like a little pack, Packable backpack. It's made out of that super lightweight kind of like ripstop nylon um, That's very durable, but very lightweight and, and folds up real easy I'm gonna take this out of the case so you guys can see it um, The pot the pouch that it comes in actually is part of the backpack itself So there's no extra things you have to carry around and then look at that. It's just like a simple backpack with um Kind of nice padded straps, considering how small it is, um, that have some mesh ventilation. Um, this is great for anybody on the go, maybe especially with kids, or if you know you're traveling somewhere and you're wearing layers and you know you're gonna wanna take off your layers, you don't wanna have to carry them by hand, you can easily shove a couple sweatshirts, a couple water bottles in there, whatever. I just thought this was really nice and it's a very gender neutral um, design and color. And then when you're all done, you basically just scrunch everything where you wanna like pack it back up. You just, look, you, you just like shove everything back into the little case, like easy peasy. Of course, I have the um, tag on it, so it's a little bit more unwieldy. And then, I wish I could show you this on camera, but I kinda have to use the table. You zip it back up. Do, 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 do. Of course, it's not as beautiful as it was when it was brand new, but how cool is that? I think this is just really handy, a really handy present. Again, kind of great for day trips or, you know, like I said, for traveling. And then lastly, for guys, a couple of hats. I feel like I always include a hat, but I'm always on the lookout for good man hats. I don't know what it is, but my husband seems to lose his every year. So I found this for $25, and it's the North Face um, Jim Beanie. 
Nordstrom, 25 bucks. Really, really high quality. I love the North Face products. Um, my whole family wears the North Face. We just, I've loved them. It has a really nice microfiber fleece, or what do they call it? Micro fleece um, kind of band around where the ears are. It seems really warm without being overly hot and small enough for a guy to shove in a pocket. I know my husband shoves his in his pockets. Probably how he loses them, to be honest. They probably fall out of his pockets. But I love this dark gray with the kind of black weaving in it. It's very neutral. They have them in other colors too. Really nice option. Um, my husband loves ball caps. He wears them all the time and he's a huge Cubs fan. Um, so I bought him a couple of new Cubs hats. These are going in his stocking this year. Um, and they're by a brand called 47. And it's, these are the Chicago Cubs ones. They have other sports teams as well. I found these at Nordstrom, $25. They're really nice hats. And he likes this style of hat that's a little less structured, not like those really firm hats. Um, so I thought this was a really nice option for him, kind of the traditional Cubs, and then this more kind of neutral um, black and white one, which I thought was a nice alternative. And those are my 10 stocking stuffer gifts for men or whomever, really. Okay, treats. So first of all, the hot chocolate I was mentioning before. I love Trader Joe's. I've really gotten into them this past year. I discovered these last winter. These are the original hot chocolate with premium Belgian chocolate dark chocolate sticks. That is a mouthful. So this package, I, I didn't have the foresight to look at how much, I already had this so I didn't buy it um, recently and I didn't have the foresight to look at how much they cost but I will write it in before this video goes up so you guys can, I mean, it's, it's not terribly expensive. Um, but they're really high quality, nice way to brew a very rich cup of hot chocolate. So it comes with six chocolate sticks. This in itself would be a great stocking stuffer, or you can just pop a few in, you can pop a few in a mug, whatever you want to do. I think it's a really nice option. Um, and they say just heat up some milk, melt the chocolate in it, and enjoy. And it is so rich and delicious, and I can't recommend these enough. I think it's a really nice alternative to powdered hot chocolate mixes, which can be nice, but aren't quite the same as having real melted chocolate, hot chocolate. And then lastly, I know I talked about Sugarfina last year and I feel like I'm cheating a little bit by repeating, but I have since become incredibly obsessed with this specific Sugarfina candy. And it is by far, by like leaps and bounds far, my favorite out of all of the Sugarfina candy I've tried. And it is the Champagne Bears. They're the best. You gotta try, if you're gonna try any Sugarfina candy, try these. Sugarfina is a, a, like a, a luxury candy brand that's sort of targeted at adults. I would say it's very expensive candy. Um, like this small cube, $8. Big cube, 20 bucks. Worth it? Totally. So um, you can get them in the baby champagne bears, which are like mini tiny um, gummy bears or regular gummy bear size in either size container. So good, you guys. I am hoping there are going to be these in my stocking this year um, because they are so good. I order directly from Sugarfina. I know you can buy them from other places. I've actually seen them at Paper Source. I've seen them at Nordstrom, I believe. Um, I find they come freshest when I order them direct from Sugarfina. Um, just my little tip from me to you. Their other candy is great and I love it, but the Champagne Bears take the cake. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's a wrap on my 2017 three-part gift guide. Like I said, there might be a little bonus toddler. You might hear my toddler in the background. She's squealing with delight with her father downstairs right now. Um, there might be the bonus toddler gift guide in a couple weeks. We'll see. Can't make any promises on that, but I'm so glad that I was able to put this together for you this year. I hope this was helpful to you in some way, gave you some inspiration or ideas, even if you don't particularly think any of these um, specific items I shared today will work for you. Maybe it helped spur some ideas. Um, I find that that's how gift guides work for me. They help me, even if I don't like anything that somebody's showing in one of their gift guides, and it gives me an idea for something else. Um, so anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. I'm so excited for the holidays to be upon us. I will be sharing 
more holiday related content as we get into December. Um, I will be showing you my kitchen now that I've gotten the gift guide done. I know you guys have been waiting for it. I'm sorry it's taken so long, but it it was a labor of love, literally, to get it completed. And then I really wanted to make sure I had this gift guide up in a timely manner for you. So gift guide, a uh, kitchen tour will be coming as soon. And then it's the it's December. Like, hello, it's going to be December before we know it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And happy holiday shopping. Bye, you guys. Take care.